the YouTubers. This uh, video is uh, especially for uh, VW Darren and Andrea. Um, you know, on behalf of my family, you know, we'd like to offer our deepest condolences in your loss there, Darren. Um, I know what it's like to lose a parent. Um, coming up uh, April 5th uh, will be five years since I lost my dad. And, uh, you know, I had, a <clears throat> I had a great relationship with him. So... Whenever I hear of people losing parents, that's one of the things that comes back to me. You know, a, few, come a year or two before that, I lost my father-in-law, and and uh, you know that was that was tough as well. You know, I had uh, a good relationship with my in-laws. I had great in-laws, and lost both of them, and lost my dad five years ago. But um, you know, it's. Uh, mixed blessing uh, when you have someone that was ill and, uh, and you lose them. Um, you have to look at the bright side of, of things. Um, you, you look at you know the good times you had. Um, you know the, the petty arguments that may have happened or the you know the little disagreements over the years they don't mean anything they never did um, and you know you said that you know that he had raised you since you were I think 13 and you know a stepdad is a dad um, I don't advertise uh, the fact, but I'm a stepdad. Um, Brad, my oldest, and you notice I said my oldest, um, was from Amber's first marriage. And when we first married, I chose to adopt him. And we had to get approval from his, from his real dad. Um, and one of the things he insisted on was meeting me uh, face to face and he wanted to know why I wanted to adopt him and uh, you know it wasn't uh, you know there wasn't anything wanting to cut off relations that he had with his son it was because Amber and I knew we wanted to have a family and we wanted all the boys to be fully related so um, Brad is my son. You know, I've, <clears throat> I've raised him since he was about five or six. You know, and he's in his thirties now. And, you know, his, you know, his oldest daughter is coming up on seven years old already. So, um, there's a big difference. Uh, you know, a lot of people have two dads seems more and more common nowadays. Um, I had never hid the fact from the boys that Brad has, has a, a different father. Uh, they've known all along we never hid the fact and Brad knew and he knew why I wanted to adopt him. And the trials and tribulations are the same um, with him as they are with the other sons. Um, you, know, you know, he gave, he gave, uh, he gave us our first grandson. And, um, he has, doesn't have two dads as far as he's concerned and as far as I'm concerned he has um, a father and he has a dad you know his father brought him into the world his dad raised him and um, 
Brad sees it the same way. You know, I've been his dad from the time from the time that um, that I was hanging around with his mom. I was like a dad to him. And uh, his uh, you know, when when I adopted him, I even gave him the option of what to call me. I, you know, I, I you know, I'd never told him what to call me when we were dating. I let him figure it out because, you know, I'm, you know, intruding on his life because his life was with him and his mom. So I was the outsider coming in. And so when when we married, and especially when we when when I adopted him, um, I told him, you know, I'm. On your birth certificate now is your dad. I am considered your dad. I know I'm, I'm not your father. I didn't didn't make you, but that doesn't matter to me. And he sorry, shit for brains. forgot where I was going. Anyway, Brad, Brad has always treated me like, like his dad, because I am. And even if I hadn't adopted him, I'm sure Brad would have treated me the same way. Um, because he is my son. And, uh, he is Kyle and AJ's brother. Uh, Losing, losing your 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 dad like you did. Even though you had known that his health was failing, doesn't make it any easier. Um, you know, the only thing you can do is is let let time and and uh, you know time has to you know take its course and you know you're going to go through mixed emotions and one of the things I notice uh, on you know on several of the people I watch is there are a few people that make references to men not crying and yeah we all put on the tough the tough front but as for men not crying that's bullshit um, we're human Humans cry. Um, people mourn in different ways, and uh, you know, with my dad, I chose to remember him for all the good stuff that he taught me, and all the great times we had together. We, we had our little issues when I was growing up, but what teenager doesn't? Um, when, you have, uh, when you have a teenager, you're going to butt heads with, with your parents. And, you know, we did. I, I wasn't that rebellious, but you know, they would go away for the weekend, come back, and there would be another junker sitting in the backyard. Uh, sitting on our patio, actually, because where am I? My mom still lives in the house I grew up in. Uh, she bought it from the... They bought it and moved into it when I was about six. Uh, it doesn't have a back lane. It's got a, a public, like a city, a small city or neighborhood park behind it. So they have a drive through garage. they got a door on each, each end, and they open the two doors, and you can drive right through. And we used to store our camper trailer on the on the patio and uh, you know once I hit late teens and, and that and started having cars and they had stopped using a trailer and they started uh, they bought a, a cottage instead and uh, they'd come home after a weekend at the cottage and there'd be another piece of junk sitting on the patio uh, you know I pushed my dad's buttons 
we got through it all. I had a lot of good times. Well, isn't this an exciting one? Um, anyway, um, I'm talking more about me and my dad. And it's supposed to be about you, Darren, um, and Andrea, and the kids. You know, take the time that you need to, to mourn the way you have to mourn. Um, but just a bit of advice. It's, it's easier to get through it if you celebrate their life and not mourn their loss, their death. You know, think about the good stuff. Think about the great times. It'll, it'll just help. It'll help a little bit right here. So, when you f come back f making videos when you feel like it, you know, if it be tomorrow or a week or a month, you know, we're still going to be here. We'll always be here for you. Uh, you know, you've been there for, for others in the past. You were there big time for HPR when, uh, when Brenda went missing. You know, more than any of us uh, were there for them. You know, we had the comments, but, you know, you went above and beyond in that case. So, you know, take the time. Be selfish. You know, you know if you have to cry, cry. If you have to. If you have to laugh, laugh. If you have to go out and, and uh, be by yourself for an hour somewhere, then, you know, your family should understand. They will understand. Um, family does help it, help it ease the pain. You know, talk about the good stuff. Bring out old pictures. And have a good laugh. You know, like I say, celebrate his life. The dad that raises you is the one that makes you who you are. So if you look in the mirror and you see who you are and the father you are, you know exactly how you were raised. You know how, how your dad raised you. And uh, it looks like he did a pretty damn good job. So Take it easy, my friend. And... Uh, Take your time. Spend your spend your time uh, um, dealing with this. We all get through it. We all go through it. And uh, you know, I, I wish you and your family the best in the coming days and weeks uh, as you uh, you deal with your loss. So have a good one and. Uh, from my wife and I and my boys and girls and grandchildren and on behalf of uh, the others in the uh, YouTube Garage Gang I just want to again say you know our thoughts and prayers are with you <laughs>